sp3d modeling contents directly not for weaving purpose okay next i will go to copy so any any content available in this i want to copy this piping so how i can copy when you try to select in graphics okay you can select either in graphics or in workspace anyway if you know where it is in the workspace you can select it okay that is your pipeline that is your another pipeline and this is your third pipeline okay you can select in the graphics and then use select nested you can copy now after selecting a piping copy it click on edit copy after selecting only it will be activated for you right now you just see that paste is not activated that means paste will not be available until you copy something so edit paste the same thing is available here paste right now it is not activated copy edit copy is the same thing available here i will click on copy this is your command bar where it will tell you what to do whenever you are in any command it will guide you what is the next point you have to do it's asking select a reference point by clicking a point on the object so reference point means i will select this reference point okay that means when you try to paste at that time for this object it will take this as reference point and then place it okay that is your reference point this is how you will copy something by selecting it okay use select nested otherwise if you normal select and then copy it will copy only pipeline name and it will not copy the contents okay now once you copy it something and given the reference point a uh, paste is activated now the same is activated here edit paste i will go to paste here you observe in the workspace hierarchy okay normally in paste command select system hierarchy it will ask what should be your system hierarchy it will by default it will highlight the parent of this object you have selected and copied so by default it will select its parent as your parent for pasting purpose if i paste now the pipeline paste will happen within this hierarchy okay but if you want to change and copy this line say it is in u05 if you want to paste in in u04 process at that time you can just define workspace with say u04 process you take with control i have selected u04 process also now you can see u04 process is available this is available now i will go to paste as i told by default it will highlight a parent where it is going to paste okay so as you have copied this pipeline from this parent it will take the original parent for pasting and if you have to change it is already highlighted system hierarchy now select other hierarchy in which you want to paste as both names are same here you don't find any difference it is also process only but you can observe in the workspace explorer that earlier this was highlighted in yellow now this is highlighting in yellow that means now this will be the parent for the pasting object okay the pipeline you are pasting at that time once you confirm the parent then you go to below options available you notice that paste in place is checked that means 
if you paste now it will not ask you for the location where you want to place it will take the source location this is your source from which you copied paste in place means it will copy exactly overlapping to this at the same location okay to select another location you have to uncheck this and then you can click okay to paste it in some other location what all the other option available here keep original permission group if you check this it will ignore whatever permission is active here this is your source object if it is modeled by piping even though by mistake if you have selected ifc here it will ignore this permission and it will be pasted with the original permission group that is if it is by piping right now you have already seen it is by admin that means with a hvac or piping active you can say piping i have activated this original permission group is admin i have activated piping now with this if i paste it will keep original permission group that is admin permission group only will be retained for the pasted object okay clear in this how you are going to use this keep original permission group or paste in place if you uncheck this if this is not active that means right now if i paste the new pasted object will be with piping permission group because that is my permission group active here during paste of paste process okay right now i'll keep piping because i am going to paste the piping object now you have seen you selected the hierarchy where you want to paste paste in place you removed so that you are able to paste it in some other location not in the same location and then you can just as per your requirement if you want to check check this to keep original permission group or you can remove to take the permission group active here now delete optional means once you paste it the source file source content may be deleted okay it will be paste that way it is as good as moving it some other location normally you don't use it you will just use these options you select the hierarchy where you want to paste and then click on now we will complete our paste command once you complete the paste command you can observe here define new placement point so where you want to place i'll just go randomly in the same axis you can see axis is visible i'll paste over here you can see u 0533p it is pasted in this now and one question was there earlier how the names will be formed so i told that some name rules you have to go with some name rules so once you paste original line number is u0533 p but when it is pasted within u04 it has automatically changed to u04333 p how the name rules work this is how name rules work name rules means you will provide a sequence number you can go to original one what we have pasted name rules you have you can use the name rules here by using this you will not key in any name manually here so you will not key in any name over here you will set a name rule specific to the project as per the modeling procedure you have to refer modeling procedure if it says any name rule to be used then you will key in the sequence number this is your sequence number 333 and then you have selected the fluid code fluid type p fluid requirement is process within process fluid code should be p with these two options selected and with default name rule it formed the name by itself within the project okay 
so in this u05 when you model it within u05 the name rule says first you take the unit name and then name rule says next you take the sequence number 333 and then you define a hyphen in between in the name rule after that it should give the fluid code type here at the end after hyphen that is what your name rule says when you paste it in some other hierarchy as per name rule name rule still intact and when you modeled within u04 it has automatically taken the as per the name rule it has automatically changed it to u04333 hyphen p okay this is clear how the name rules work in the live projects whatever name rule is mentioned in the modeling procedure you have to use the specific name rule so that your names are consistent with the project naming philosophy okay so this is how we have used edit copy and edit paste